welcome to another trip report. This time totally different than any of my other videos, although I'm at a rail station now. But it's about the, well, the North Kata Railway, um, like, Bahn Rail. It's like a funicular and two cable cars that will bring you in 20 minutes from the city center of Innsbruck all the way up to the mountains here in Innsbruck. From where, when you have a great view on the mountains, you can even ski there in the winter time. I was here in December. I'm here now in December. The snow conditions were not really good at this moment, to be honest. Um, but, so there was no skiing at this time. Um, right now I'm continuing my way to Vienna. There will be a trip report on that as well. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up if you think it's a helpful video as well. If you'd like to see more trip reports, mainly about a more sustainable way of transportation, so mainly train and ferry, hit the subscribe button. But for now, let's roll the intro. I've got this on camera. Innsbruck, the capital of Tyrol. We arrived here with a night jet, what is a sleeper train of the Austrian state owned railway company ÖBB, directly from the Netherlands. You find quite a lot of international train connections from and to here. Because the state of Tyrol in Austria is quite narrow and long, you are never far away from both the German and the Italian border. It's a walkable distance to go from the main railway station to the entrance of the North Kettebanen. However, you can also travel by public transport. If you take the tram you have to walk a bit, but there's a bus stop pretty much at the front of the starting point. The starting point for today is in the city center of Innsbruck, at the stop Congress. Here we will take the Hungerburg Bahn that will take us to the stop Hungerburg. This is a funicular that will run straight from the city center to the outskirts. In a way it feels a bit like a metro I have to say. Actually this funicular is what makes me want to make a trip report about this most. I mean just look at this architecture, it's just really nice. All stations for the funicular have been designed by the famous Iranian architect Zaha Hadid. If you go from the city center of Innsbruck all the way to the top, this point is probably the starting point. Both the station, but also a big part of the funicular line, are on the first section of the route located underground. At this station there are some ticket counters, information and that's basically it. We were traveling with the use of an Innsbruck card. We bought this at the railway station and this really gives you a lot of freedom to travel in Innsbruck and visit lots of sites. You can also use the public transport. However, I think it might be obvious that these funicular and cable cars are not a true part of the Innsbruck public transportation system. Even though this funicular is connecting different parts of the city with each other, where people also do just live, it's mainly being used for tourists. These funicular trains are all rather simple, but everything is quite modern and the ride itself is also rather comfortable. Obviously you don't have to expect a lot of facilities on board of these funicular trains. As we left, you could already see that it's a rather rainy day at the moment we were having this trip. This funicular will gain a height of about 300 meters in total. The first section of the route, it's not that steep though, as you can see over here. This funicular has a stop right after the moment it will come from below ground and straight after that it will cross the river Inns. The city of Innsbruck has been named after this river. Straight after this the funicular will go underground again for a short section and this is where you find the middle point. Because there are two funicular trains, in the middle they will meet. The first funicular at this point has been opened in 1906 and closed in 2005. The current funicular and the stations along this line have been opened in 2007. 
and it doesn't look at all like the old vernacular you could find here. Right now we're at the station of Hungerburg. This is the first stop for our ride where we have to change vehicle. The vernacular only goes here and this part is actually still a part of the city of Innsbruck. Basically you're in the suburbs now. This railway station is by far the biggest, at least it feels like it's the biggest station. And Sahaha did her architecture, well it speaks most in this station if you ask me. If you just want to take a bus, you also find a bus that will go to this station. By the way, if you're wondering why I made this video, I asked you guys on Instagram if I should make a video about this and you guys said yes, so this is why I made this video. If you also like to vote or just follow me on the journeys and updates whatever, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. It will pop up on the top right of the screen right now. To me making this video is also a great way to play with my new 360 camera. So I could practice a bit for the real traffic drop. At the moment we were here it was just before Christmas and it's not as wide as it should be actually. Because we were here around Christmas time there was also a small Christmas market at this point. Right next to the entrance of the funicular you will find the entrance to the first cable car on this route. This cable car will bring us from Hungerburg at 860 meters above sea level to Sea Group that is 1905 meters above sea level. Located within the lower station for this cable car there is this so called cable car museum. It's not that special but it's really nice and especially if you have to wait here a bit before the cable car goes up again. These cable cars run very frequent though, in general they run every 20 to 30 minutes. In peak hours the frequency might be a bit higher and well the cable cars are what you might expect of bigger cable cars in the Alps. It has been a while since I've been on a winter sport holiday but being on a cable car like this brings back some good old memories to me. Most fun things happen on a higher altitude. I might be very tall and living above the hairline. This cable car will bring us above the tree line. And once again most fun activities can be found up there. For now I'll show you some views from the cable car. Right now we're at Seegroup or Seegrube. This is the middle station and this is where you find most facilities at this mountain. Right after you leave the cable car you find a big screen that will host information about hiking routes in the summertime and possible ski routes and also walking routes in the winter time. And of course I had to use my 360 camera in all possible ways so I took the shots. Over here there's a restaurant where you can sit both in and outside and there's even a small bar. Apparently at some nights in the winter time they will have a kind of a parties here and I think this is a great spot for parties. There are also some smaller cable cars over here that are especially for people who like to ski. But they were closed while we were here because the snow conditions were really bad. So far at the moment of recording and editing what is December and January 2022 and 2023, the snow season is not that great. 
At this spot, there's also a hotel and a nice restaurant. We had some really nice Kaiserspätzle over here. I really can recommend you this dish if you're in this area. There's another ticket counter, toilets of course, and over here you will also find a small souvenir shop. But another thing you find here is another cable car that will go all the way to the Hafenkamp. This is at the highest point and this is at 2256 meters above sea level. The last cable car is slightly smaller as the previous one, although it's still rather big. This last ride doesn't take as long as the previous two rides. And it's not as scenic, at least not at the moment we were here, because it's rather cloudy at the day we were here. However, it will bring us to a higher altitude, so what was rain at the previous station will be snow now. Right now we're at Havelakar. This is the highest station. At this spot you won't find that much, but there's a really good restaurant. Even though we didn't went here because it was rather busy at the moment we were here. Of course, you also find toilets at this spot. And probably the best thing about this part are not just the views, but also you can go outside. And even while we were here, the views were absolutely not nice. There was a lot of fresh snow, what was also really refreshing. If the views are good, you have a great view over the city of Innsbruck, but also over a great nature reserve that's right next to this. And I also took an action shot. <laughs> Yes, you just witnessed my girlfriend falling down in the snow. I didn't thought it was that slippery, but apparently shoes really make a big difference on this. There is apparently another great viewing point over here, but well, you, uh, well, I'm not gonna mention it again. After a quick visit over here, we went down again, and actually, when we went down, we went to the restaurant over here. And as you can see, the snow that was on a higher altitude changed into rain again. I hope you liked this video. If you did so, give me a thumbs up. And like I said in the introduction, if you'd like to see more, just hit the subscribe button. See you on my next video. And I promise you, that will be a normal video. This YouTube channel is mainly focusing on to show you what it's like to travel on a more sustainable way of transportation for international and long distance journeys. Mainly train, sometimes ferry and buses. If you want to know more about specific routes, in the description of this video you find a map and there you find it all. See you on my next video.